Wow, Angie, you seem real happy. I wonder why. Give it a thumbs up, broski. That's right. Give it a like, boy. Right there. The thumbs up button is right there. Come on, do it. All right. Let's get to this news. We have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video, but the first one Overwatch 2. Looks like we're about to get an Overwatch 2 announcement. Within the next week, in about a week, this is coming from a streamer known as Metro. Now, I don't um, acknowledge every rumor that comes out, but this one is very credible. This dude has correctly um, leaked um, Overwatch characters in the past, specifically the new hero, Ash. He leaked it a week before um, she actually came into the game. So... He has legit sources. Now, <coughs> this is what he says. His source is someone tied directly to a Blizzard dev. And he's saying Overwatch 2 is going to be revealed at this year's BlitzCon, which is November 1st in about a week. And, and he goes into detail. After a short cinematic featuring heroes including may tracer winston and a younger genji he adds that the potential sequel will include both pve player versus everyone and pvp player versus player and the new leveling system will change and so he goes into detail of the game and so an overwatch 2 announcement now overwatch just launched on the switch and this is the Switch, Switch footage. Bro, I'm, we had a blast. I think it was last night we were playing with the sponsors. By the way, become a sponsor. But Overwatch um, has launched on the Switch. Game is good, runs good, looks good. More than likely, Overwatch 2 will also be coming to the Switch. Why? The devs now know what the system is capable of, knows how to optimize the game onto the Switch, and just the fact that we just got Overwatch on the Switch, more than likely we're going to get, whenever 2 is announced, which rumors are heating up. What's that? I smell fire. Where's my fire? Right here. <laughs> Don't burn Genji, please. But, it looks like we're going to get Overwatch 2 um, announcement soon. And more than likely, a Switch version will um, should be announced. Seeing that the game is playing good on the Switch. I'm enjoying the game, bro. Alright, next news. <laughs> I hate them. <sighs> 2K. 2K. Love hate relationship 2K WWE. This is WWE 2K20. <laughs> the game is a glitchy, buggy mess, bro. Multiple, a lot of users are posting footage. Look at the referee, bro. <laughs> Look how the referee's moving. Oh my goodness. Of numerous glitches in the game, bro. What is 2K doing right now? First, NBA 2K, the worst launch in NBA 2K's history was NBA 2K20 this year on all platforms, Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. Glitches, bugs. What game has a 35 gigabyte patch? Like a few days after the game launches. And the gameplay completely changed. Dribbling, everything changed. It's like a completely different game. 
I heard they even patched the demo. Who patches demos, bro? And so, NBA was a mess. Now WWE 2K launched, and it's a buggy mess. 2K, I said this on Twitter. By the way, follow me on Twitter, at Obi-WanPlays. Y'all need to chill. Maybe with these annual releases, and maybe just do every other year. Um, come out with an NBA game or a wrestling game. And in between, a roster update, DLC or something, bro. I know y'all not going to do it because y'all make too much money off the game. Bro, with all of the trending hashtag fix NBA 2K, hashtag your game is broken, bro. In one month, NBA 2K20 was the best-selling game of all of 2019. Meaning in one month, it outsold every single game that's launched for the entire year. We are a part of the problem. I am a part of the problem. Um, one of the sponsors in the chat, shout out to Ghost Wolf, was like, Obi-Wan, oh, you should talk about loot boxes and how they're so bad for the industry. <laughs> I was like, uh, Ghost Wolf, I'm part of the problem, bro. I'm an adult with kids, bills, responsibilities. I don't have time. To be spending hours grinding in games. Bro, I'd pay $8.99, $20 to get gear, to level up my character where I don't have to waste hours. I'm part of the problem, bro. I'm a working adult with expendable, expendable income, bro. <laughs> but part of it too is devs need to adjust their games where it shouldn't take 500 hours to get one gun in a game. I'm just saying, bro. But I am part of the problems. I never complain about loot boxes. I just buy them. I'm like, whatever, bro. <laughs> okay. All right. Next news item. Ring Fit Adventures off to a pretty good start, at least in Japan. The first sale numbers have come out, and it's at the top of the charts in Japan. It has launched as a number one selling game in Japan at 68, over 68,000, which is nothing to shy at. Especially in Japan, real good numbers. I might pick this up for the wifey, bro. Ring Fit Adventures. Real talk. Next news item. Nintendo's global president, Shantaru Furuakawa. I butchered his last name. He was interviewed by Time Magazine. And he has said, and I quote, we give our teams the freedom to experiment with new ideas and it's something he strongly agrees with such a difference between the nintendo release games and the 2k glitch feshes. bro first off seems like nintendo's never like pressure their developers you gotta meet this deadline the game has to launch at this time so we can get our money fill it with microtransactions nintendo's more of we'll launch the game when it's ready and they try new and creative things bro what other company would have this as a major game to launch their console arms this was heavily featured in the Nintendo Switch launch presentation where you move your Joy-Cons to punch. Nintendo experiments, bro. The same company <laughs> that does this. <laughs> one, two, uh, one, two, Switch. Another launch game, bro. Who else will have you spend $80 on Labo? On cardboard? Nintendo. Nintendo is known for experimenting, and that's why we need Nintendo in the industry. Of course, they still give us our hardcore experiences. We got Zelda, we got Overwatch, we got them third-party games, we got 2K. Right now, bro, the Switch is the only console I'm gaming on right now. I've gone from Nintendo, where the games at, bro? <laughs> like, all we had was, like, Yoshi Crafted World for, like, months, to now, I'm like, time out, Nintendo. Slow down with some of the releases. I don't have time to play all the games. I still need to beat Link's Awakening before Luigi's Mansion just come out. I need to beat Luigi's Mansion 3 before Pokemon comes out. I need Nintendo to not release any major games in December, January. I'll even, I'll even be good with nothing for February. So I can beat Dragon Quest XI. I haven't even started Dragon Quest XI yet, Nintendo. I can't believe I'm saying this. 
slow down with the launches so I could beat some of your games. And so right now, Nintendo is delivering with all on all cylinders. Great first party games, great third, great third party games, bro. Microsoft and Sony better hope Nintendo doesn't decide to come out with a powerful console on par with whatever they're launching. If they do, GG no re. All right, next news item. We're coming to the end of the video, but first I gotta let you guys know, Darksiders Genesis has been announced coming to the Nintendo Switch February 2020. Not your traditional Dark Starters game, more of a Diablo 3 isometric top-down game. And last but not least, Disney Classics Aladdin and Lion King Remastered coming to the Nintendo Switch. And a special edition, um, limited edition retail package has been announced. Pretty cool. It has the Sega Genesis case and the Super Nintendo cases. And it comes with a poster good stuff to old school fans bro i 16-bit era in my opinion greatest era for gaming switch right now is giving it a run for its money but 16-bit was when gaming was at its top and before we end this video tonight with the sponsors we're going to be playing fortnite chapter 2 if you want to join a dope nintendo switch gaming community become a sponsor you can sponsor through twitch by becoming a Twitch sub. If you have Twitch Prime, you could become a sponsor for free, bro. Also on YouTube, there's a join button right below this video and on Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Obi Wan plays game with the sponsors every night. We have weekly prize tournaments. Our next tournament, we're gonna have a Smash tournament sometime next week. Lit, lit, lit. I stream on Twitch, my YouTube gaming channel, Obi Wan plays gaming championships, Mixer, and Twitter. All at the same time on four platforms so you can catch me right around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm usually live on the interweb. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Hey, I'm really liking Overwatch right now. My main Sombra. Sombra, Bastion, Orisa. Those three, and I'm good.